Hello. Okay. I think we got it now. Let's see. Let's see if that works. I was spent. I spent way too much time talking to myself. I was like, "Hey, everybody!" and there was no sound. Yay! Oh god. How embarrassing! Oh my god. Game over. See you guys later. I'm too embarrassed about that. No, I'm just joking. I'm not, I don't really get that embarrassed that easily. Okay. All right. I might just skip the hellos today because I just went through the whole list, but Julian, what's up? I saw you're in here. Good stuff, man. The regular crew, you know who you are. What's up? And anybody who's new to the chat, what's up? And let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna cut this. Did you at least get the music? Did you get the music in the background? Did you hear any music when I was doing it? Maybe there was nothing there. What's up? Oh, uh, there was no music, so I was pumping the beats and nobody heard any music as well. Man, rough day. Let's see if this music is working. Can you guys hear this kind of stuff? I had this jam going on. Okay, that's what I was playing before. So imagine that, and now we're all ready to go. Chop, chop. All right, let's go. Let's jump in, shall we? Metaphorically jump into this class. So, today's going to be a little bit of too loud. Oh, I like it loud. I can turn it down a little bit. Turn your, turn your headphones down. I scream. I like to yell. So, turn them down. <laughs> Why are you telling me it's too loud? You know that thing? It's called a volume control. Try using that. That's cool. All right, so let's jump into this, shall we? Uh, today, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you some new words. Maybe some words that you've never used before. And also a little bit of review. And if you don't know this grammar, eh, but if you do, yeah. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. I'm doing good, Manero. I'm doing. I'm feeling fine. I'm. I'm on form today. I went to the gym. Feel good. Got my energy. Got my crew. Something bad with the sound. Boom boom. Okay. What's bad with the sound? You know. Let's see here. What can I do with me little mic? How about now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? There's a good uh, Berlitz commercial about that. All right, how we good? Are we good? Can't speak. All right, let's jump in, shall we? I hope you guys got that. So take that document, please jump in. I can see all these cute little animals have jumped into the document. That's lovely. I hope it's all good. Good, no God, but good, cool. All right, so let's do this. Let's jump in. Uh, you know how we do it. I like to keep it super chatty in my smart group. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little warm up and then uh, we're going to jump into the nitty gritty, the business, uh, if you will. So let's jump in here and I want you guys to help me out. Please finish these sentences. So I've got two jobs here. Number one. So what we're going to do first is this. Sweet. I'm, here. I'm happy to hear that. Finish the following sentences with your own ideas and also you can decide if you know I want to know which type of conditional this is. Now, if you don't know conditional sentences, this part will be tricky, but I'm going to try to make it clear, give you a little review. It's not going to be a big review because this is a topic we've done before, uh, but I'll try to help you out. So we're going to finish these sentences. You choose the idea. You finish it any way you want. I'll tell you if you're correct or not correct, and that will help. Also, I'd like you to decide which type of conditional it is, and maybe you know something about conditionals, Zero conditional, first conditional, second, third, and a mixed. Uh, so there's some conditional. So maybe you can also tell us what kind of conditional it is. We'll try to do it, and we'll try to help you out. So here we go. Let's do it. You know that? Good, Marcin. That's sweet. That's going to make this way easier. So let's jump in, and let's do it. So number one says, provided that, provided that. And here's a new word for you, maybe. Provided that you work hard, your boss will. Finish that sentence, finish that idea, use your own words. And then you can see I've given you some words here, like I gave you that will, you got to use that, and I gave you some other words. So you have to use those ideas, but you want to finish the sentence. Uh, we'll give you a promotion. Hope so. Promote you, same idea, good. Uh, Sergey, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure is saying it's the first conditional. And I believe you're right, Sergey. I believe it is the first conditional. And if you know anything about uh, the conditionals, you'll know it's the first conditional because of the will. 
And if we have will, like we do here, it's generally a first conditional. All right, very nice people. So give me a few more answers. Provided that you work hard, you will what? Increase your salary. Absolutely. That could definitely happen. I hope that happens. Fingers crossed. Uh, I need money. I'm poor. Help me out. Donate coffee. Uh, what else could you do? You're provided that you work hard. Your boss will give you a pat on the back, which is kind of useful, but I'd rather have money. Uh, your boss will promote you. Your boss will give you a break. Exactly. Take it easy on you. That's a good one you could say as well. Uh, your boss will take it easy on you, which means give you, you know, give you a break. Give you a good, you won't be crazy. Me too, Em. Me too. It's a love affair. Me and my coffee. All right, next one. Number two. A little deeper, this one. We'll let you go. No, your boss won't let you go, Lorena. That means, like, fire you. Provi if you work hard, provided that you work hard, your boss will let you go. That doesn't make sense. I think you work hard and your boss, like, loves you and they give you more work to do. Ha, ha, ha. That's so true. Next one. Number two. The world. A little deeper here, guys. Let's get deep for a second. So more, not deep, philosophical. The world rewards people providing that they buy a new car just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Try this one again. The world rewards, you know reward, give you something. Give you, give you happiness, give you money, give you friends. The world rewards, gives you something, rewards people providing that they know how to steal without getting caught. Oh my God, Caritas, no, it's the wrong answer, man. Provided they work, they work hard, could be an answer. Don't, don't use working, Ahmed, just use work. Uh, it's not necessary. Provided that they give, oh, uh, somebody, oh, some people are still on the first one. Okay, we're on number two now. Number two, the world rewards people provided that they do what? How will the, why would the world provide you with anything? And what would they provide you with? Mm -hmm. oh, some people still on number one. Oh, good, and someone's answering. Uh, music Talk is on it. The world rewards people providing that they work hard. M, I think you've got the right answer. Uh, Munira, provided that they are ready, are ready to sacrifice something. Ready is an adjective, so you have to use a verb in front of an adjective, and the verb is are. Okay, cool, that's a nice answer. Uh, providing that they are smart and know how to seize opportunities. Uh, the world rewards people providing that those people are smart and they know how to seize opportunities, grab opportunities. Nice one, nice combo. Deserve something. Uh, the world rewards people providing that they protect the environment. Nice one, Aisha. Like that. And the it exams learn how to speak. Uh, you're right. It was a zero conditional, and it's a zero conditional because we have rewards every day, every day, every day. And then the they part would also be an every day, every day, every day. So I'm not going to get into too much detail now. We're going to look at it later. But yes, you are totally correct. Uh, it is a zero conditional. Uh, number three. Moving on. Number three. Round number three. Three, three, three. Here we go. I might borrow you my car. On condition that. So somebody asks you for your car, maybe it's like a brother or sister, which sounds like a horrible idea, but you're like, mm, so finish that sentence. I might borrow you. Oh, and I made such a mistake. I made such a, such a native speaker mistake. It should be lend, because lend is give and borrow is take, duh. But a lot of native speakers make that mistake, so forgive me. I might lend you my car on condition that you, what will you do? What do you, what do you have to do? I might borrow you my car on condition that you do not have enough money. No, not that one, Amr, sorry, not quite. Give me money is the correct answer. Denise, I think you got it. Uh, that's a good one. Vladimir, that's also reasonable. You will, uh, I might lend you my, my car on condition that you, but it's not will return it, unfortunately. That's weird. I know. I, I see what you're saying. I might lend you my car on condition that you return. So it's not will return. It's you return. That's a weird one, but that's why. 
Uh, what else we got? Mm, yes, but it is the first conditional. You don't drink beer, Lolly. It's the first time Lolly says she doesn't approve of drinking beer. Must save him, Marcin. Not sure. Is that the the condition one, the the number three? Uh, so yeah, on condition that you get it back to me at six. That could work. Uh, I might let you on my car on condition that you keep it safe. So no will, there, uh, where is that? No will, uh, Amr, so you keep it safe, S-A-F-E. Uh, all right, cool. On condition that you take care of it, good answer. Yes, repair it. Don't destroy it is an amazing answer. Yes, don't destroy my car. You are careful with it, awesome. Hello, Minina, Minina, how you doing? Uh, all right, so correct, you were right. It was a zero conditional. Because sometimes might can be will. And that's why we would use might in that situation. And then after, on condition that, we have to use a present simple tense. Because that's how we do the first conditional. Present in the first part. And then after, if, we would use a will and sometimes a might. Cool. Number four. Lovely. Lovely topic. No worries, Edgar. I didn't even see you walk in, man. You're good. Uh, number four. I wouldn't kill you unless... Oh. Oh, let me let me let me get in on this one. What's up, Fedor? How you doing, brother? There he is. He just comes in and just screams at everybody. Then we know Fedor's in the house. I wouldn't kill you unless. What is the situation when you would kill someone? Hmm. I wouldn't kill you unless you did something really terrible to me. Ah, Almer. I wouldn't kill you unless you. Hmm. I wouldn't kill you. Well, I'm not sure about that one, Omar. I wouldn't kill you unless you didn't tell me the truth, I think is the correct answer there. And I'll show you why in a second. I wouldn't kill you unless you... Uh, so a lot of people are using negatives here. This will be confusing. So unless can be tricky if you don't know how to use it, but I'm going to teach you how to use it today. I wouldn't kill you unless you were being an ah. That could be a good answer. Don't know the answer. I wouldn't kill you unless you tried, tried, T-R-I-E-D, tried to kill me, Lorena. So pretty good, pretty close. Uh, I guess it could be the other one. I wouldn't kill you unless you try to kill me. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Lorena. It could be that one as well. Uh, I was trying to aiming for the other one, but you're right, it's possible. Uh, what else we got? Vlad gave the money back. I wouldn't kill you unless you gave the money back. Unless you didn't give the money back. Ooh, it's, it's a hard one. Unless I wouldn't kill you unless you told me the truth. I wouldn't kill you unless, yes, no. I wouldn't kill you, oh, this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be difficult. I might have to problem solve this one after we're done. Anyone else got one? I wouldn't kill you unless you cheated. E-D, no would, unless you cheated on me. Uh, Lorena, unless you wanted me to, is that a sentence? I'm not sure. Uh, Amr, I wouldn't kill you unless you did not tell me the truth. Very nice, Amr. That's, that's the good one. I wouldn't kill you unless you... I wouldn't... I should have made that sentence easier. Let me change that sentence. Because I've made it extra difficult. I would... I would make breakfast for you. That's the new sentence, okay? So we'll do this one one more time to make it easier because I did too many negatives in my last one. Let's do this one. This, I promise this one will be easier. I would make you breakfast unless you did this. What would that be? Why did I begin in the negative? Um, because I, it was the first sentence that came to my mind, but it was the wrong idea, Gertie, because that's a little too complicated. I'm trying to simplify this idea unless. So let's try a new one, easier. I would make you breakfast unless something happened. Unless you dropped a dime on me, okay, told on me, that could be one. I would make you breakfast unless, unless you wake up early. Good answer, Amr, very nice. I would make you breakfast unless you 
weren't hungry. Maybe let's put that one in the weren't and I'll tell you why. So normally, and which conditional is this one, by the way? Nobody's giving me the conditional on this one. Hey, Sam, what's up? Hello. Uh, unless you help me, I would make you breakfast unless you didn't help me. Mm. Second, correct. Good. That one I'm going to help you with because that's a weird one. So here we go. This is a second conditional. And you know when we use a second conditional, we usually use would, after if, and before if we use a past simple grammar. So for example, I would, would, we always use would for imagination. So that's the second conditional. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip number five because number, number four was difficult enough. Uh, let's try this one here, number six. Let's jump ahead. Yeah, it's difficult. This can, if it's the first time you've used, unless it could be difficult. But some of you guys, I think you know how to use it, so that's cool. Number six. Uh, I wouldn't have complained so long as you da 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 da. da. And now you have to finish the sentence. Now look at this one. I wouldn't have complained. Focus, emphasis. Okay, so be careful with what you write in the second part. Good question, Malaika. Good question. And that's going to be a topic that we're going to discuss in four minutes. What does it mean? I like to trick people or make you think. Either way, fun for me. Uh, okay, so I would make breakfast for you unless you were busy. That's good. That's nice, Ayesha. I will be over for breakfast soon. Uh, Vlad, good. Vlad going. I, I wouldn't have complained so long as you had come home earlier. Third conditional. Boom. Vlad's on it. Very nice. Third conditional. Okay, so the third conditional, you know when we use the third conditional, we, we use would and then have or wouldn't have, whatever. Would, wouldn't have complained. We need a past verb, complained. Wouldn't have complained. Three words. So long as you had come home early. Would plus have, exactly, Edgar. You know it. Uh, what else? Uh, Judas got one. I wouldn't have complained so long as you hadn't, hadn't tricked. So just two words. Hadn't tricked ED. Uh, then you're good, Judas. Okay, Coretus has retracted some naughty message. Uh, okay, one more. Can we do one more? And remember, this one is in the past. So when you use the third conditional, you're thinking about a past situation only in your mind. I wouldn't have complained so long as you had been polite. I wouldn't have complained so long as you didn't piss me off. I wouldn't have complained so long as you had a smile on your face when you asked me something. Uh, okay. Uh, as long as you had, I wouldn't have complained, as long as you had my homework, had my homework, or had done my homework, or had given me, I don't know, something. We need, we need two, we need had, and then a past participle. And yeah, unfortunately, like I said, this is a little bit, this is more review class than it is a introduce class, unfortunately. As long as you had got gotten gotten more money no got you don't need gotten up just gotten more money is okay unreal past it's exactly what it is Amr, i wouldn't have complained so long as you had serviced me well i don't know if serviced is the right word Amr, but um taken care of me that could be the right word as long as you had taken care of me well we're good uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Aisha, I wouldn't have complained as long as you had finished your work on time. Baboom, nice one. Had finished. Good. All right, so, and I think we're going to do one more here because I got two more weird ones that I want you, want you to see as well. Uh, do I have them all? No, I think I'm good. I'm going to delete that one. Oh, okay, let me give you a weird one. Let me give you a, a little bit. Look. So the question is, which conditional is this one? Mm -hmm. Wink, wink, nudge, 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 nudge. All right, so read number nine, number nine, and tell me which conditional is it? Uh, and I've helped you. I've given you a little bit of a, a help. Oh, music top, boom, top answer. Very nice, you guys are on it. You guys are on point, very nice. It's a mixed conditional. 
And no, it's a mix. You guys got it. Yeah, most of you guys got it. Very nice. I kind of helped you out a little bit as well, but I think you, you rocked it. You nailed it. If I hadn't joined this class in the past, I would never now. So that's a third conditional mixed with a second conditional, which is what we often, well not often, but we sometimes do that in English. We'll say past result, present consequence. So we mix the conditionals. Usually it's the third and the second. We mix them together. Exactly. If I hadn't joined this class, I would never pass the exam. That's probably not true, Amr, but thank you very much. Good example sentence. All right. Last one. The two more here. Number 10. Now, number 10 is a little bit different. It's a conditional, but it's a different kind of conditional, and I will explain soon. I promise. I told you I will explain. I definitely will. Now, take a look at number 10. Children love junk food. No matter how much you tell them that it is, oops, I forgot to write it, no matter that you tell them that it is healthy, or uh, no matter, sorry, you finish the sentence. Why am I doing that? Children love junk food. No matter how much you tell them that it is, now I think you know the answer, finish the sentence with your own idea, and we're going to talk about what does no matter mean and the other one as well. Children love junk food no matter how much you tell them that it is bad, unhealthy, harmful, exactly, bad for you, crap, right? They don't listen. They love junk food. Who doesn't love junk Well, some people don't love junk food, but I would never have understood this lesson. Oh, Miriam, you need more information there. Uh, <laughs> mixed conditional, yes, thank you. Fedor, listen one more. <laughs> Listen up, Fedor. It's good advice here. Nasty. Children love junk food no matter how much you tell them it is not healthy. Good. You guys all got the answer. Now, which conditional is it? Children love. It's not will love. It's not would love. So which conditional is it? No matter how much that you tell them that it is. So actually, let me underline that. What kind of verbs are being used in this conditional sentence? Are they present verbs? Future verbs? Past verbs? Right. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, oh no, no, zero is the correct answer. Because we tell children all the time, so that's why I said love. I didn't say will love, I said love. And then after that, I didn't say will be, I said is. So because there's present simple grammar, present grammar, not present simple, but present grammar in both those uh, clauses, that means uh, it's the zero conditional. Okay, last one. Please finish this idea. Computer programming is difficult. However many something, something, something. Finish that sentence, please. What would you say about that one? Computer programming is difficult. No matter, oh sorry, I didn't say no matter. However many, however many. Who says the lessons are easy? Oh, do you think these lessons are easy? Hmm, I don't know about that, buddy. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Computer programming is difficult. However many what? Finish that idea. However many issues appear. Okay, could be. Could be that one. However many soft, however, software is not countable. So we would have to say, for example, however much software is easy to use. You could say that. However many people make their programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a weird sentence. I should probably change that one. Uh, I would say computer programming is difficult. However many books you read. Mm. Let me change that sentence. Um, what else is difficult? Um, learning English. Learning English is difficult. However many let's try this one. Same idea, but let's change the idea. Uh, so you could say however much, or you could say however many. Both of those are possible. Learning English is difficult. How, however many you how many however many something you no 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 no. That's a weird one. That's a weird grammar. 
I don't know if you'll, if you'll get it right away. Learning English is difficult. However, many people around the world speak it. Very nice, Edgar. Learning English is difficult. However, many people manage to do it. Ah, no. This is not but. This is not a but sentence. It's not like, oh, it's, it's good, but it's bad. No, no, no. That's a different one. So learning English is difficult. However many TV shows you watch or however many grammar books you read, it's still difficult. Learning however people learn many people. No, no, it's a different however. It's not, that's a good one. I never thought about that. It's not the same however as like, I will do this. However, it will be difficult. No, it's actually a different one. So let's jump into the next part. Yes. Okay. So let's jump into the next part. So Ziad had one, a good one there. Uh, Aisha, no, not quite. No. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to try to solve this problem by going into here. So let's go into the next section here. So let's look at the grammar challenge. And today, you are going to learn, and I'll try to simplify this. Today, you are going to learn about other forms, other ways, different types, different ways to write a conditional sentence. OK, so let's do this. Um, let me put this one first. I need to reorganize this. OK, should I put that there? Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. So let's do this together. Let's figure this out. Look at the sentences one to nine. What do all of those words mean? So for example, in the sentences, uh, we, I wrote providing, provided that. I wrote providing that. I wrote on condition that, so long as and as long as. What do those words mean? They all have one meaning, one easy word. So finish this sentence. All of these words mean what? Hello from Honduras is not the answer, Arturo. But hello, how you doing? Thank you, Caritas, yes. Noor, you're right, better late than never. How many grammar are you still stuck in your head? A lot. Uh, only if, Ahmed? Mm, yeah, kind of, but we're just going to say if today. We're going to make it super easy. So all of those words basically mean if, okay? Just to simplify and keep you from getting confused. So basically all of those words mean if. Um, so if I say so long as, it means if. I say provided that, it means if. If I say on condition that, it kind of means if, right? All of them are very similar to an if sentence. All right, so... Next one. Next one is a bit of a matching activity. So this one says, review all the conditionals. 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, which conditionals are these sentences? A, B, C. So if you look at this one, let's look at this one first. Which conditional is this? Is this a 0, 0 conditional, 1 conditional, 2nd conditional, or 3rd conditional? If I didn't eat breakfast, I would get grumpy. That's true. Uh, but what kind of conditional is it? Is it a first, second, zero, or third? Zero, one, two, three. Two, Carlos says one, Noor says two, Music Top says two, Edgar not sure. Uh, so I would say majority rules, majority is right today. It's the second conditional. And the reason that we know it's a second conditional is because we have didn't. Uh, we have didn't in the past. So didn't eat is your past verb. And then in the second clause, we use would and then get. So that's how you know. So if you see would, it's probably going to be a second or third conditional. And if you see past after if, it's probably going to be the same. It's going to be a second conditional. So because we use those two things together, that means it's going to be a second conditional. Sentence number two. So look at the tenses, look at the verbs and the times, and well, that will help you. Which conditional is this one? If I don't eat breakfast, I get grumpy, I get angry. And is this a future idea? Is it an imagination idea? Or is it an everyday idea? Is it zero, one, two, or three? Uh, answers. Uh, most of you, no, 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 you, some of you got it right, some of you got it wrong. Answer is zero. This is a zero conditional. 
the reason this one is a zero, zero conditionals happen every day, all the time. Uh, so for example, uh, if I don't eat breakfast, I get grumpy. That happens all the time. Uh, if I don't work hard, my boss gets angry. That happens all the time. So zero conditionals, zero conditionals, we use, they happen all the time. Sometimes science, if you heat water to, to a certain temperature, it boils. Uh, so if those happen all the time, that's a zero conditional. And you can see I use don't eat present grammar and get present grammar. Present present means zero. Next one. It's tricky. I get it. It's tricky. This one should be easy, I think. If I hadn't, yeah, you guys are on it already. If I hadn't eaten breakfast, I would have gotten grumpy. Everybody seems to have it correct. Yes, everybody notices that this is past. And it also has would. So remember, if you see would, it's going to be the second or the third. And this one is definitely the third conditional because it's about the past. Now when you make the past here, you have to use hadn't, had or hadn't, right? Hadn't eaten, hadn't gone, had eaten, had gone, had seen in the first part after if. Then in the next part, you use would plus have plus a past participle. Would have gotten, would have seen, would have studied, would have given, whatever, okay? So that's definitely that, okay? So you got that one and last one. Last, last, last must be, if I don't eat breakfast, I will get grumpy. And so again, we have present in the first part, don't eat. But in the second part, we don't have present again, we actually have future. So that means it's gotta be, there's no other options. It's gotta be the first conditional. Good, boom, bang it hum Hamza, <laughs> come on, man. That's okay, it's okay, man, it's not that easy. Okay, so there we go. So that's basically the same sentences, same ideas, but we change them from uh, first the zero to the first to the second to the third. Okay, so let's skip ahead here. Now, uh, I think I skipped a question here. What does unless usually mean? This is the first question I want to ask. What does unless usually mean? I'll add it in. give you the answer as well yes there you go very nice you guys got it yeah also that Caritas you're also right uh, but you're right most of you're right pretty much most of the time most of the time if means unless means if negative so that's why it was a little bit confusing like if not sometimes if you say if not sounds easier right like yeah correct if not and sometimes it is an exception as well but most of the time I would say it's it's just if negative but sometimes there's some weird situations uh, if it you know um, I will I will I won't stay home so sometimes we use negatives we say I won't stay home unless it rains today I won't stay home unless it rains today I won't stay home if it doesn't rain today that's weird that's weird Okay, let me give you a better example. So let me go back up here. So I use them, I would make you breakfast. So in my mind, I would make you breakfast unless there was a problem. Unless you did something bad. So unless you made me angry, then I wouldn't make you breakfast, right? Uh, I, would, uh, I would wash your car if, unless you were rude to me. I don't know, you know what I mean? So unless something, something bad happened. Unless you were rude to me. So if not, we usually use positive after there. Ugh. That's tricky, right? Anyways, we'll try to do some sentences soon and we'll see if we can get them down. Uh, next one. Oh, this is what I wanted to ask you. So unless, does it have a positive or a negative? Meaning is negative, okay? Um, so negative, I'll just get rid of that question. Next one, is there a difference between these two sentences? Yes, correct. Unless equals except, yes. Unless, uh, so here we go, let's look at these two. Are they the same or are they different? 
Unless we leave now, we'll be late. If we don't leave now, we'll be late. Are those sentences the same or are they different? Tell me what do you think. Unless we leave now, we'll be late. If we don't leave now, we'll be late. They are the same, right? There we go. Same, yes, good. Same, same, same. You got it. Boom. Very nice. Uh, do we have another one here? As long as you are a member, if you are a member. Yeah, okay, then those ones are definitely the same. Okay, why did I do that one again? That's fine. Let's get rid of that. A and B. Okay, next. All right, now to the, now to the weird stuff. So look at sentences. Oops, not 1 to 9. Uh, 10 to 11. Here we go, next one. Look at sentences 10 to 11. That should be 10 to 11. Look at sentences 10 to 11. What do those words mean? So now it's going to be similar, and you actually need two words here. What do? So give me another way. As long as means if you are. As long as means if. So long as means if. Provided that means if. Providing that means if. Unless means if negative usually or except. Uh, but this one, now I'm giving you a new one. So now I want to talk about number 10 and 11. So 10 and 11 talked about different words, right? Uh, 10 and 11 talked about no matter how and however many. What do those words mean? Because that's going to be a little bit difficult. Any ideas on that one? That one's a little bit trickier. So, oh, there they are. What do those words mean? No matter or however many. What, do, what does that mean? And it's a little bit different than the other ones. Everybody stuck? Any ideas? It's a tricky one. No chance to happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no importance in case in Spanish? Not important? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to simplify this for you. Even if. Do you know what I mean? And I'll try to give you an example. Uh, even if is the way we would say that. No exception, just in case. So let me, let me give you two sentences. So let's look at even if, shall we? Why do we use even if in English? Look at the two sentences and then decide. This, decide what's the reason we use it. It makes no difference, could be. If I get hungry, I will go for pizza. Normal sentence, right? Normal conditional. But now look at this one. Even if I'm hungry, I won't go for pizza. Yeah, sometimes it is like programming. And it's also bad programming because the rules change. Uh, so what do you think, what's, why do we use even? So you can see in the first sentence, I just use if, like if I get hungry, it's normal. I will go for pizza. I'm like, oh, if I get hungry, go. But even if I'm hungry, I change it. This one is I won't go for pizza. Why won't? Okay, so this is kind of an important thing. I will go for pizza or I won't go. Even means... Uh, let me write a sentence here. We use even in English to show and the answer is this. Any ideas? No matter if. We use even in English to show surprise. Something weird, right? So if you say, uh, what did I say in the beginning? No matter Kind of like this, right? So learning English is difficult, even if you read a lot of books or even if you study every day. Children love junk food even if you tell them it is unhealthy. So it's basically even if. So it's, it is another kind of if sentence, but it's the surprise. It's weird information. Does that make sense? Malaika, why not a contrast instead of a surprise? Um, you mean like but, using but instead? Well, can you give me an example there, Malaika? Bobby, join. Uh, contrast. Yeah, I mean it, I mean it is, could be similar. Um, okay, let's see if we can take the same sentence. Learning it, 
Okay, so if I say learning English is difficult, but, but what? But I can do it. Learning English is difficult, no, however many books you read. So the surprise is that even if you read a lot, so we need, so we use even to show surprise. But if we use but, maybe we don't show, we don't show surprise, right? Um, you say like, for example, learning English is difficult, but I can do it. No surprise. That's kind of a normal thing. But if I use even, that means is weird. It's like saying learning English is dif difficult. Even if you read all the English books in the world, you still have difficulty learning English. So we want to show surprise, and that's why we use even, and that's why we can use however many or no matter how. Does that make sense? It's a little bit complicated, but that's how we do it. Okay. Okay, so I think we, we got an idea here. So let's jump in and let's, uh, sweet, success. So let's do a little bit of this. Let's do a little, I never really do pronunciation with you guys. Let's do a little bit of pronunciation. So I want you to say these words with me quickly. So for example, I will take a vacation as long as I have time. Uh, I'll, please say I'll. So a lot of students, they, I guess they're not comfortable. And of course we want to speak quickly once we start getting comfortable. And we're gonna say I'll. I'll take a vacation as long as I have time. Okay, so everybody give me a big aisle. Aisle! Oh, good job everybody, that was amazing. Number two, I would hang out with you provided, oh sorry, I should add my that. You don't need the that, but you can have it. I would hang out with you provided that you were awesome. Great, right? I, and we're not gonna say I would, we're gonna say I'd. I'd hang out with you, everybody. I'd hang out with you. I'd hang out with you. Oh my God, you guys are so good. I'd hang out with you provided that you were awesome. And you are, so I will. Very nice. And last one, uh, past, using uh, third conditional. I would have bought you a coffee providing, and I'll put my that back in there, providing that you bought one next time. And we're gonna say, we're not gonna say I would have bought, we're gonna say I woulda. So we want to make this one really fast. So I would have bought changes to woulda. I woulda bought. Everybody give me a woulda bought. Okay, so woulda, coulda, shoulda. You woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, so just super fast. So would have became becomes woulda, woulda bought. All right, and there we go. And that's all I wanted to do. So now it's your turn. Uh, I would like you guys to mix your, some sentences of your own. So let's do this. Each person should write five sentences about yourself. Mm, five sentences about yourself. That should be good enough for today. So go ahead. I want you to shoot, use everything that we learned today. Use so long as. Use provided that. Try no matter how. If you want to give it a try, do it. Uh, so I want some sentences, and I want you guys to use all the words you learned today, provided that. Use, try unless. Unless is a good one. Use unless today. Give it a go. Um, any of the words you've learned today, and I want you to make your own sentences. So I'll make a few myself. Uh, you know, and you can talk about anything you want. Talk about your life, your work, your school, your partner family or your dog okay any sentence you want and I want you to try to use all the stuff we learned today yes I totally can Malik. and there we go baboom there it is okay so go ahead make a sentence I'm gonna make a few myself um, if I hadn't, I'm going to make a third conditional. No. Uh, let's see, what else can I use here? So long, so long as the students continue to be awesome, I will teach for smart English. And of course, you guys are awesome. So I imagine I'll be here for quite a while. Uh, okay, very nice. If I knew German, I would have a better job. Don't forget your A because it's a common mistake. Everybody makes that mistake. 
Uh, Amar's got one. Unless I get a notification from you, comma, I couldn't practice my English. Unless I get. Uh, okay, so Amar, one little thing. Because you have get in the first part, you should also use present. Get is present. And so you should also use present in the second part, or you could use will. So you could say, unless I get a notification from you, I can't practice my English, or I, w I will not be able to, right? Something like that. So you can use the zero conditional, or you can use the first conditional. It's your choice. First conditional is future, zero conditional uh, present. What's up, Yvonne? I'm good, man. How you doing? Hamza. I have a Hamza in my class. He's got a great mustache. Hamza, do you have a mustache? Uh, as long as you study, you are going to make it. That's true, Hamza. You're just as cool as the other Hamza in my class. Very nice. Good sentence. Vladimir, if I would have learned English at school, I would live in Vancouver. If I would have learned English at school... Mm, you mean in, like, high school, Vlad? Um, like if you said, for example, if I had stu if I had studied more English at school, you know what I mean. So I'm not sure if this is a mixed. Mm. You might say something. I think you want. I think you might want to use the uh, first, the uh, the second conditional. If I could study anywhere, I would study in Vancouver. For me, it feels like it could be the second one. Ahmed, if I hadn't woken, woken, w o k e n, woken up. On time, I wouldn't have attended this class. That's totally true, Amen. Uh, it's good to have a friend. However, close we can we get. I can trust them. Okay, that's true. Good advice. But I think the however we're using today is not that kind. It's not a but however. It's a conditional however. Uh, what else we got here? And us. If I didn't watch Barca versus Madrid, I would have watched you from the start. <laughs> Appreciate that, but I w I agree. Sports are important for some people, so to watch your sports on us. I'm cool with that. Uh, Amir, unless I get a notification, that's exactly it. Very nice. Good. You do have a oh Hamza, you do have a mustache. Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. Uh, very nice, buddy. It's cool. It's, it's world small mustaches are large. Uh, Lolly, in retrospect, I wouldn't have voted for the current president. Yeah, I hear you. Who is the current French president? Let's take a look there. Current French president. Oh, this guy. Oh, he looks young. Looks like a nice guy. Hmm. There you go. Okay. Next one. Uh, who else we got? Denise. I feel very weak if I don't go to the gym. Good. Zero conditional. Very nice. Yeah, and if you guys want, put this conditional. Tell, tell me which conditional you're writing, and then that way I can also make sure that we got the right one. Noor, if I had more money, I would visit you in Vancouver. Very nice, Noor. I appreciate that. You come anytime. As soon as you got some money, come on down visit us. We'll grab coffee. Unless I get a note, okay, yeah, okay. Judith, even if my spouse shows shows me many times how to fix a computer problem, comma, I can't get it. Present perfect is a demon, Yvonne. I think you're totally right. Just don't use it, man. Just reject it. Just use the past simple all the time. Uh, <laughs> that would be awesome. Provided that I'm a little bit fat, I will go jogging. Ah. Provide, if I'm a little bit fat, I will go jogging very often. Okay. Yeah, could be, right? Possible, for sure. That's a good one. Yeah, that guy. Uh, if I could turn back time, no, the, just time, I would no longer make some mistakes. That's true. Asley, if I had a lot of money, it would change the world. Okay, good, very nice, guys. But remember, today, don't use, today is, uh, today is not about if. I want you, today, I want you to use unless provided that so long as and I guess the other thing I should talk about which ones are formal uh, provided that sounds a little formal <coughs> uh, providing that sounds a little formal so long as sounds a little formal and uh, as long as sounds a little formal unless is normal okay so some of them are a little formal maybe better for writing if you were going to use conditionals in your writing but yeah, that's it. But yeah, today, don't, don't just use if today. Try to use uh, unless. Try to use so long as. Use some different ones. They're pretty easy. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can try to use no matter how or, or however many. Those ones are hard. But you can give them a try. So I challenge you, a personal challenge, to give those ones as a try. 
malaika, so long as is only used in the second and third conditional, not the first. Well, let's give it a go, shall we? So long as. Uh, so long as you didn't hurt my feelings, I would never leave you. Second conditional, no problem. So long as I would have bought you, I would have bought you a coffee as long as you had. It's okay. So I would have bought you a coffee so long as you had been nice to me. It's okay. So note for so long as you can use them in all conditionals. All good. Uh, what else we got here? Ivan, you should get one class with the present perfect or once or once live. Oh. Uh, present perfect, I've been thinking about that. I think I haven't done a class on the present perfect, Ivan. So uh, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe next week I'll do one on the present perfect. That could be useful. I think some people have problems with that. Like I have been living in Vancouver or I have lived in Vancouver. When should I say those things, right? What's the difference between those two? That could be a good idea. We'll see. Uh, next one. If I were, if I were you, I would tell the truth. Me too. Denise, I can't quit eating sugar no matter how hard I try. Ba boom. Very nice one. You got it, Denise. Uh, I can't e quit eating sugar no matter how hard I try. Uh, and again, you don't have to use how. You can actually use a lot of other ideas. You could say, no matter when, I can't go to the gym no matter what time I wake up, no matter when I want to go, right? So you don't have to use how. You could actually use a lot of other words, no matter how, no matter when, no matter where, no matter, you know what I mean, some, some of those words. You can also use those. Very nice. Let's do any more before we leave. So again, remember, give me a hard one. Give me, a, yeah, they get, there we go. I should give me an unless sentence because those ones are the harder ones. Unless I get, oh, okay, same idea. Unless I get a notification, N-O, a notification from you, I will prepare myself, one word, myself, to learn English. Good, good sentence. Coritas, I've been living since, na 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 na, and I've lived for, yes, we do use since and for for those two. Noor, I want to go to the theater tonight unless, yeah, I think you're right. I want to go to the theater tonight, unless you want, mm. I want to go to the theater tonight unless you want to do something else. So basically, Noor, your sentence says, uh, I want to go to the theater tonight if you don't, if you don't come with me, I want to go to the theater. So basically, you want to go alone, Noor. Is that what you said? You want to go to the, to the theater alone tonight? Maybe not. So you might say, I want, to go to I want to go to the theater with you unless you want to do something else. Uh, that, that might be okay. There we go. Thank you, Elias. Very nice. Uh, Malaika, I will learn English on the condition that on the condition you teach me. Good, that works. Very nice. Lovely Lafleur. Can you help me with my essay, please? Compare and contrast. What? Compare and contrast Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Fresh Off the Boat? One's a TV show. One's an expression. <laughs> They're so different. I don't think I can, Lovely Lafleur. That's like I don't know what to do. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is a TV show and fresh, fresh off the boat means you are new in some situation. And that's the only way I can contrast them. Uh, you think newer meant won't. I won't go to the theater unless you want. Ah, okay, I agree. Newer, I think that's what, yeah, I agree, Ahmed. I think he, that's what it was. I won't go to the theater tonight unless you want to go with me, then we should go. That's probably what happened. Uh, Fadul, if I watch all your videos, I wouldn't be confused after, or you might be more confused, Fadul. I don't know. I might screw you up even more. That's possible. Hamza, I'd watch the movie unless it was late. So because you have I would, would is, uh, would is your hypothetical, so your second conditional. I would watch the movie unless it was late. So when you use would, you also have to use a past verb in the second part. Uh, Gertie, so long as I could speak English, I would watch my favorite movie without subtitles. Good, very nice. Amar, good night, buddy. Pleasant dreams, sweet dreams, buddy. See you next time. Carlos, I will not watch this podcast unless, uh, 
this podcast, uh, listen to the podcast or watch this stream, unless I'm busy. Good. Uh, okay, very nice. And Maleka, providing that I had a sandwich, I would eat it happily. Now, yeah. sandwiches are amazing. Uh, Ivan, what's different on figured and think? Uh, what is different between figure and think? Um, I figure, I figure is kind of like. If you just say figure, not figure out, but just figure, it's like, I feel, and think is think, you know? So I think you, I f yeah, it's, so they're very similar, right? Um, I figure you are nice. I think you are nice. Or are they different? I think you are nice. I figure you are nice. They can be the same. Bas pretty similar. The, we use think a lot more though than figure. We don't normally say figure unless we're really making a prediction like, yeah, I figure he's 35, I think he's 30. No, 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 no they're basically the same, buddy. Basically the same. Okay, so I think we got that last one correct. As some English teachers would learn French, provided that, no comma, don't use a comma before provided that. They were motivated for it or to do it. And Aisha, I would go on speaking English on condition that I found a native speaker to practice with. Babu. Could we use even if rather than however? Well, let's try it out, shall we? The only way we can know is test it out. So, I would like to live in Brazil, however, there's no however, I would love to live in Brazil. Uh, I would like to Okay, let's see. I would like to make a lot of money, however, it is difficult. Um, I would like to make a lot of money, even if it was difficult. No, they're different. Yeah, you know, so your contrast, when you use however, it's contrasting, like good and bad, right and wrong. So I would like to make a lot of money, however, it is difficult. And those are two different sentences as well. But if you say, if you say something with even if, you're going to say something like, I would like... Uh, I would like, so again, but is just, but is not a conditional, right? So I would like to make a lot of money, even if it was difficult. So if the job was really, really difficult to do, I would still want to do the job. And it's one sentence as well. But, you know, uh, I would like to make a lot of money, but it's difficult. They're different. <laughs> and it's hard to explain why they're different. But there is a bit of a difference there. Okay, so, uh, ugh. I, I don't know how to solve that one for you. That's that's a really tough one too, but there is a difference. So keep thinking about it a little bit more. Um, who was asking me that? Ahmed, think about it a little bit more. Uh, look at a few of the examples that I put on there. Maybe check out the internet. But there is a difference between even if and however. In some situations, they are kind of similar. I agree, but there is a, a general difference between the two. So sorry I couldn't help you out with that exactly, but there, you might have to check that one out on your own. Okay, and I think that's everything I plan to do today. We did a little bit of review on conditionals. Hopefully, got you back on track with your conditionals. Zero, first, second, third. And then we threw in some difficult stuff. So we throwed, showed you some ways to say if in another way. And we also did a little bit of even if, which is pretty tricky as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. If you didn't understand anything, you can always check out the video one more time or do a little searching online and do some practice sentences. That's it for me. That's it for Smart for Wednesday, whatever day it is. I'll see you tomorrow, Thursday, 2 p.m., Vancouver time. Have yourselves an amazing day. Drink your coffee, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day, everybody. Bye-bye.